All right, guys, what's up? Today is day 196 of grinding until I become a millionaire. These are daily check-in videos that I do every single day until I become a millionaire. I don't know what's going to happen when I finally get there, but we're just we're checking in. We're going to keep doing the, the thing and uh, doing updates. So I need to go back to this and put this up here for when I start drawing. But um, as you guys know, I do a few different things and the, the way we're going to walk through this is where I'm at currently, what, I, what I'm working on, what I did, and what my goals are, what my plans are. So we're going to flip down to top down. God, this is a game changer. I got a lot to talk about today, but we got to go over where we are at currently. Um, $1,500 from YouTube. Um, Passive income, really cool to make, ad revenue, all that stuff. This is hard to do, but it, it, we did it. And I don't know that I can get it much higher than that. About $500 a month from Olive Garden. And I need to quit, it's not passive income, obviously. I work a couple shifts, um, one shift a week, essentially, on Saturday, and um, make you know 100 to 200 bucks, so. There's that. Maybe it's a little more than 500. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And then I make about 8,000 a month from my social media thing. Um, and, you know, I want to get rid of this one. We're working on it. I think if I can keep that number there for a few more months, make sure I'm not going to lose any clients or maybe boost it up just a little bit more. Then I'll quit over here, but I'm keeping this as a safety net because if I lost all my clients, then I would uh, have to work a lot more and bump that number up. So that's where I'm at currently. I have a lot of things. We're really trying to grow this, um, and I just moved my prices up from like like a thousand, fifteen hundred, up to like four thousand, and I just need to get in front of the right people to sell it at this price, and then. The amount of money I make is gonna go up and the amount of work I have to do is gonna come down. So that's just like a whammy for success. I just want a handful of clients at that high price point that I can deliver amazing value to. And um, yeah, just work closely with a handful of people instead of a ton of people. And I'm already seeing how it's getting harder now, like the more clients I get to, to have like a good connection with everybody. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, <clears throat> And my goal, like I said, is to move that up. I'm doing that by moving my prices, making sure that I create content that's valuable, helpful, and shows my expertise to my potential clients, to the right clients. And that's the goal, that's what I'm working on. So um, I wanna go over how I spent my time today. And I had a ton of meetings with a potential house manager. And I think I talked about it yesterday. It's like a couple days ago, I, was, I filmed this, a check-in video. This is what I ended up telling a lot of them that I was talking to. I filmed the check-in video. It was check-in video number 92, 192, I think. I was sitting there. This would just be a few days ago. Yeah, I was sitting there at the counter downstairs, and I'm filming, and I just look over, and I got shit all over the counter. Just business cards, my camera, my my shoes probably, like just stuff all over, man. It, and I was like, what the hell? Like, I can't live like this. I'm running on three hours of sleep. I'm like, I don't have time to do all of this. I, I can't clean this. Like, I just got a lot to do, right? And so I was like, I'm gonna solve this problem. And then Hermosi said in a video, you can hire somebody to outsource all the human stuff that you don't like to do. And I'm like, well, good idea. So that's what I started working on. And um, I made a post in Facebook and got like over 100 comments easily of people like, oh, interested, or oh, I could help with that. And so then I made a, a scheduling link for a 30 minute interview at a coffee shop near me and I sent it to all of them and I said, hey, you know, all the ones that messaged me and I said, hey, you know, like, let's talk, let's see what this looks like. Sat down with like six today and I'll sit down with six tomorrow and then I'll just pick one um, from that. And I talked to some really amazing people today. It was really fascinating because for a lot of them, they just like, like to clean and organize, like what the hell? Um, so good, good for them. It's perfect people for me to work with and um, trying to figure that out because if I can like in my head, right, with currently my what I make with clients is like 
these these are all hypothetical, but let's say they're at a thousand dollars an hour. And I have an editor, so I pay the editor to create their content, like let's say $300. And again, these are all hypothetical. Um, I've kind of done the math on this, but I haven't fully, and this, this isn't the real price, this isn't the real price, but it doesn't matter. Like let's just say, a thousand, I pay 300 for the editor, I'm making 700 on top of that, okay, let's say. And then I spend my time, I spend about two hours filming, I spend about two hours talking with them. I've got someone else scheduling the posts, let's say for um, per month, I guess I would end up paying them, let's say 50, I don't know, I think that's a higher number than what it really is, but let's just say that that's it. So now, okay, so now I'm actually only making 650, 650. Um, but I'm doing the filming and I'm, let's say this is like talking to them, communicating with them. Okay, so four hours divided by 650 is, what is that? I don't, I don't remember how this shit works. So hold on. 162 an hour. Okay. Um, th when I did it, the with real numbers, like it, it's even higher than that. Like what I'm averaging per client per hour spent is actually higher than 162 an hour, which is pretty crazy. But I'm spending all my time working. But anyway, so let's say 162 an hour, and I have um, 10 hours a week of tasks that need done: cleaning, vacuum, sweep laundry, bedding, all that stuff. 10 hours a week is 40 hours a month. And so what is that worth to me? To save 40 hours a month. And if I'm worth about 162 an hour, it would still make sense to outsource them at 50 an hour, which is not how much I'm paying. Um, and two grand, so that would be two grand a month to save me 40 hours, and if my time's worth 162, 40 times 162 is 6480. So theoretically, this 40 hours that I'm saving by not doing my dishes, doing my laundry, multiplied by my, my hourly rate, my average hourly rate, is 6480, okay? So by spending, let's say, again, hypothetical, if I was paying 50 an hour, which I'm not, for 40 hours a month, I'm spending $2,000 a month to make 6480 worth of my time, right? So this could look like, like now I've got 40 extra hours to network and potentially get a new client. I've got 40 extra hours to um, improve the relationship with my current clients and make sure that they, their churn is low. Like there is so much. And so 6480, and that's with this number. Like if that number was 300 an hour and I'm saving 40 hours a month, I'm making back, I think, is it 12 grand? Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, I did 3,000, sorry. 300 times 40, still 12 grand, yeah? 12 grand! That is just crazy to me. So it's like, people are like, oh, well like, are you sure you can afford it? Or, oh, do you really think that that's a good use of your money? And it's like, what the fuck? Bro, my time is so valuable. My time is so, 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 so valuable. It's the only thing I have in life. It's the only thing we have, right, is our time. And if I can use my time to meet people who are gonna help me make more money, to meet people who are gonna take me to the next level, to network with potential clients, to sit down and do a podcast with a potential client, like, yes, <laughs> it is worth every penny. To pay, like I, that just seems like such a broke mindset. It's like, oh, save your save your two thousand dollars a month. Like, dude, if you're making enough to do it and you can buy back time, whatever I can do to buy back my time, I will. Every chance I get. And I just finished reading "Buy Back Your Time" by Dan Martell, and he said this exact same thing. So you know what? Dan Martell thinks it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Um, so I'm gonna pick one after tomorrow. 
who I think can help me just keep everything tidy, organized, like, look, this on my desk, where the fuck does this go? Find a place for it. This, find a place for it. That's just all that. Dishes, find a place. Get them, get them out of here. Oh, I need more candles because the house smells bad? Find some good smelling candles that don't have the stuff that make you sick, right? That's what I need. And that's gonna be a game changer. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be such a game changer. So anyway, I spent a lot of time today, six hours probably, sitting down with people, and I'll spend another six tomorrow. And then I'll probably go to a networking event tomorrow evening. Tomorrow's Tuesday, yeah. And then I have to do something on Wednesday. I can't remember what it is, but it's, dude, it's just been such a crazy busy week. Like, I thought I was busy three months ago. <sighs> when I was doing BMX stuff all the time. Like, this is real busy. This is sick. This is so fun. Like, I, let me tell you, I'm having the most fun ever. Um, I spent about three hours on the phone with my friend Nick today. And Nick and I try to talk every Monday. Since we've both gotten more busy, it doesn't happen as much. And it typically happens multiple times per week. But he was helping me with something that, I mean, we both need help with. He had just this, this genius idea of like mapping out, like this is blog post, this is Pinterest, this is Facebook, this is uh, Instagram, okay? And essentially like, okay, well, for my website, I write this. For Pinterest, I need to do this. Facebook this, Instagram this, right? And let's say this is all based off of one idea, right? And so the way that you communicate that one idea is gonna look different on Instagram and it's gonna look different on Facebook or Pinterest and it's gonna look different as a blog post, but it's still the same idea. So on Instagram, you're like gonna shoot behind the scenes photos. On Facebook, you're gonna tell a little bit of a story. On the blog post, you're gonna say how to do X, Y, and Z, right? So it's the same idea, you're just distributing, distributing it across different platforms. And for me, that's been like, it was eye-opening because I always try to force things wrong. I always try to repost everything everywhere I can, and if I can't, then it's not uh, efficient, and I don't want to do it. And I need to just get out of that mindset, and I need to fucking create stuff. Like, I'm already spending the time doing it. Like, why am I not spending a little extra time curating it for Instagram, making it a little bit more interesting, a little bit better? Like, why am I not doing that? Lazy. Um, and so talking with Nick about that was really eye-opening. And then I was like, okay, well, what do you think about this? Like, help me... Hey, what the hell? That's weird. It's like, hold on. Hold on. Oh no, oh, my phone died. Well, that's not good. The whole reason I was like, oh, I'll come up here and film a future millionaire video is so that so that I could charge my phone. And then I forgot I was going to use my phone as a webcam, so that's that's interesting. Anyway, okay. So, well, we're not going to draw it out now, but we had this idea of like the brands and like where I fit in. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. It's like I'm me and then I have this brand that showcases the area. And then I have this brand that does the marketing and they don't really go together. But we drew out like a Venn diagram and the overlap in the middle is like the podcast that I'm starting. And the podcast reaches business owners and it reaches normal people. So it's kind of right there in the middle. And so helping Nick, having, having Nick help me through this has been super beneficial and eye-opening because they're there are so many different ways to do things and being able to like put it on paper and say, okay. And like, I, I got to the point where it's like, oh, well maybe future millionaire can be incorporated, right? And he's like, mm, probably not. That doesn't really make sense. And I'm like, damn, that's a good point. It doesn't make sense. I mean, it does, but I don't know, man. Nick is smart. Nick has the best ideas. And then he was telling me about the big online course, uh, our, what is it? Resell Masters, RMM, Master MRR, Master Resell Rights. 
rights? Shouldn't rights be a double? No. Okay. Anyway, he was telling me about that. And like, that is a bizarre thing that I don't even want to talk about. But um, anyway, it was super helpful to have Nick talk to me with all this stuff because we almost did it. I almost started to incorporate this into my other brands and like keep it a three-way thing. And then it made more sense just to keep it as a two-way and this be its own thing kind of off on its own. And I guess my other YouTube channel kind of its own thing off on its own. <sighs> but so now I have a little bit more of a clear direction. And one thing I think you guys can help me out, I need some advice, is I need a filmer to follow me around. Maybe help me film clients, but I don't really care about that. Like, I want somebody to follow me around that I can make content for, right? Like, hey, come with me to this taco place. Come with me to film for a client. Like, here's what that looks like. And in the BM, when I was doing BMX a lot, like, I would have friends that could film. And it's so easy to make good content when you have somebody helping you with that, when you have someone following you around and, and just doing all of that. And so, like, I need to find that here. And I don't know how, like, should I go to the college, try and find an intern? Should I just like reach out to my friends? Like, how should I do that? How should I find a filmer to film for me? And how much should I pay them? Like, what would that look like? I have no idea. I don't even know where to look. So that's where I'm at. My goals, I wanna be making 10K a month um, consistently. I wanna pay off my debt and I wanna move to Bali for just a few months now and like test it out like four or five months. <laughs> that's a few, it's a long time. Um, but just go over there, enjoy the beach, work from home, work remotely. Like I want to do all of that and uh, just experience new things, man. So those are the goals. 10K a month, pay off my debt, move to Bali for a while. Um, that's what I'm working towards. Every time that I do something, I, I build this in a way to make me more money. It is to help me achieve that. So anyway, this is day 196. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day 197. I'm probably going to either go to the hot tub or go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know yet, but we'll see you guys tomorrow.